Good morning, everyone. Today we will do Ashtanga Yoga, second part. We will finish some standing postures and we will slowly proceed to sitting postures. Again, we will hold our poses for at least five breaths. We will allow our body to open up more, create more spaces where it's needed. Let go of all the tightness. Maybe from yesterday practice you were a little bit sore, so today we will break it up the soreness. Uh, happy Easter to whoever celebrates, yeah, my Catholic friends. I wish you to have a positive practice and positive day ahead of you, and we will start. Join your feet together, hands in Namaste in front of your chest. Relax your shoulders, chin parallel to the floor. Look at one point in front of you and gently close your eyes. Be aware of your breathing, of inhale and exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. Relax your facial muscles. Just focus on your breathing. Bring your hands down, open your eyes, and we will start with Surya Namaskar A and B. Very slowly, we want to warm up our body first. Stand in front of your mat. You can keep your first Surya feet slightly apart. Inhale, bring from the sides your hands up, join your palms, look up. Exhale, moving hands through your heart, slowly coming to full forward bend. You can bend your knees. Relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, lift your chest up. Flatten your back. If your hands are not reaching the ground, you can bring it above your shin or on the blocks. Long inhale and long exhale. Bring your hands to the ground and step into the plank. Find one line, engage your core muscles. Look down. Exhale. You can go on your knees for Chaturanga Dandasana or Ashtanga Namaskar or classic Chaturanga Dandasana. Your choice. And inhale, lifting your chest up. You can stay in high cobra or lift your thighs off the ground and look up. Come back to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. You can pedal your legs with your first downward facing dog. Landing in the spine. Warming up our muscles of our legs, our hamstrings. Look in front, bend your legs and step in front towards your hands, lift your chest for Adhoptanasana. And exhale, going full forward bend. Inhale, from sides, bring your hands all the way up, join your palms, 
Look up. And exhale, bring your hands down. Sit back on us. Again, inhale, hands up. Look up. Exhale, moving your hands through your heart center. Come into full forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Stomach and shoulder blades moving to your hips. Bring hands to the floor, step to plant. Stomach in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Reach into your chest as exhale. And inhale all the way up. Exhale to your chest. Inhale all the way up. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Lengthening your spine. Moving your sitting bones up. Look in front, bend your knees and step towards your hands, lift your chest for artful tanasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up. Join your palms, look up. And bring your hands down, sit pratanasana. And again, inhale, hands coming up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Flatten your back. Stomach in with every exhale. Hands to the floor, step to plank. Stomach in. Don't bring your hips too high or too low. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Bring to your chin, uh, to the center. With exhale, look to the right. Back to the center. And look to the left. Center. To the right. Center. To the left. Come back to center and come to downward facing dog. Remember, you can take a break any time you want. Chin to your chest, stomach in. Long inhale. And long exhale. Look in front, bend your knees and step to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest up for Arthur Tanasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up. Join your palms, look up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Sit for Tanasana. Last one, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, hands coming up. Look up at your thumbs. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Moving your shoulder blades towards your hips, stomach in. Hands to the floor, step to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. And inhale, upward facing dog. And come to downward facing dog. 
chin to your chest, stomach in, breathing in, and breathing out. Long inhale, long exhale. Look in front, bend your knees, step to your hands, inhale, lift your chest up, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up, join your palms, look up, and release your hands down, and bring in front of your heart in Namaste. And we will do second Surya Namaskar, Surya Namaskar B. Little bit more intense, little bit more tough with warrior poses there. So if vinyasa is a lot for your uh, wrist, go straight to downward facing dog, skipping Chaturanga Dandasana and upward facing dog. Hands down. Inhale, bending your knees, coming to chair pose, tuck your tailbone in. Hands in Namaste, going through the heart, without straightening your legs, first going forward, then bringing stomach on our thighs. Relax your head, relax your neck, and now moving your hips up. Inhale, lift your chest up. For Ardha Uttanasana. Hands to the floor and step to plank for Vinyasa. So here you can go straight to downward facing dog or you are coming for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Look in front, right leg comes in front. Back heel on the ground, your foot 45 degree, you're coming from warrior one, inhale, hands up, front leg bent, stay, and exhale, bringing your hands to the floor, again, you can go straight to downward facing dog, or be going through vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Look in front, left leg comes in front. Four warrior one. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step to plank. And now you're going to downward facing dog or vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. Heels slightly looking out. Chin to your chest. If you can, you look at your navel. Long inhale. And long exhale. Long inhale. And long exhale. Look in front, bend your legs and step towards your hands. Inhale, lift your chest or art hold tanasana. Again, your hands can be on the shin or you can use blocks. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend your knees. And come to chair pose. Tuck your tailbone in. Inhale, straighten your legs. Join your palms, look up for Hastasana. And exhale, release your hands down. Stit Pratanasana. So, in Ashtanga Yoga, Stit Pratanasana, Orthodasana, it's called Samasitihi. But I will go in a way that you already know. Inhale, come in again. Four chair pose, tuck your tailbone in. 
knees together, hands in namaste to your heart, exhale, forward bend, thumb on your thighs, hands to the floor, moving your hips now up, straightening your legs, relax your head, relax your neck, inhale, lifting your chest up, hands to the floor, step to plank, again, you can go downward facing dog or you are going through vinyasa. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Look in front, right leg steps in front for warrior one, back heel on the ground, front leg bend, inhale hands up. Exhale, hands to the floor, plank. You can go downward facing dog or vinyasa. Good. And now look in front, left leg comes in front for warrior one. Inhale, lift your upper body up, hands up. Hands to the floor, coming to plank, your choice. Downward facing dog or vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Breathing in and out. Long inhale and long exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. Look in front, bend your legs, step to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest for Arthur Tadasan. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend your knees and come to chair pose. Inhale, straighten in your legs, join your palms and bring your hands down. Stit Pratanasana. Last one, last Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, come into chair pose. Tuck your tailbone in. Exhale, coming for full forward bend, lifting your hips up, straightening your legs, relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, lift your chest for Arthur Tadasana. Hands to the floor, step to plank. Downward facing dog or vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And come into downward facing dog. Look in front, right leg comes in front for warrior one. Inhale, lifting your upper body up, look up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank. Downward facing dog or vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Look in front, left leg comes in front, warrior one. Hands up, look up. Bring your hands to the floor. Step to plank, again, your choice. Vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet hip distance, chin to your chest. Stomach in. Breathing through the nose. Try to lengthen in your breath. Long inhale. And long exhale. 
Big long inhale. And long exhale. Look in front, bend your legs, step to your hands, inhale, lift your chest up, Adho Tadasana. Exhale, forward bend. Bend your legs, come to chair pose, tuck your tailbone in. And straighten in your leg, join your palms together, look up. And release your hands down. Still pratanas. Feels good. I'm already sweating. When you breathe, you have this internal fire inside you which opens up your body. You feel more energized. So we will finish our standing poses. You always can use wall for support because we will do, bal uh, we will do balancing pose. Arha Bhatva Paschimottanasana. You will bend your right leg. Bring your knee down and your foot above your left thigh. And you will bring your hands up. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> and stay five, four, Three, if your leg is sliding, you can hold with your hand. Two, one. And now we will go forward bend. You can bend your standing leg and you are coming down, finding your balance. When you're down, straightening your standing leg. Relax your head, relax your neck. And stay five, four, Three, two, one. Lift your chest up and slowly coming all the way up. Release your hands down and bring your leg to the floor. So this one intense. If you cannot reach high, you always can bring your ankle above your knee. Yes? And we will do other side. Bend your left leg, bring it up, and hands up, and stay five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, slightly bend your standing leg and going forward bend, reaching the ground. And when you reach, straighten your standing leg and stay five, four, relax your head and neck, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift your chest up and slowly coming all the way up and release everything down. Very good. Next one, we will come to Utkatasana, chair pose. We can go through Vinyasa between Utkatasana uh, or you again go straight to downward facing dog. So, feet together. Inhale, bending your legs, lifting your hands up, tuck your tailbone in and stay. Long inhale and long exhale. Inhale and exhale. Stay. And now hands to your chest, come into full forward bend. Hands to the floor, step into plank. You can come downward facing dog or exhale Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look in front, step with your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, forward bend. Bend your knees and coming back to chair pose. Tuck your tailbone in 
and stay five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, coming all the way up and releasing your hands down. And we will finish with two more poses for standing. Warrior one, step with your right leg back. Your back foot 45 degrees, so as you see, toes looking slightly in. Front leg look exactly in front. Square your hips, hips looking in front. Yes, so they are not looking somewhere else. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, bend your front leg. Lifting from lower abdomen, everything lifting up. Sternum moves up. Stretch those arms. Your front knee looks at your second and third toe. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Stay five. Moving your hips down, but at the same time lifting your body up. Four. Three. Two. One. Straightening your leg. Hands down. Step in front. And change the side. Left leg moves back. 45 degree. Square your hips. Hips looking exactly in front. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, bend your front leg. Stretch, lift waistline up and stay. Long inhale and long exhale. Stretch your arms up, your fingertips activated. Three, two, one, straighten your front leg, hands down, and step in front. And last standing pose, warrior two. We will bring our feet wide, right foot out, hands in a T position, inhale, exhale, bending our front leg, trying to bring our hips as low as possible. At the same time, lower abdomen moves all the way up. Crown of the head moves towards the ceiling. Our hands are active. We are stretching out of the chest. Look at your right hand. Don't lean in front. And stay. Long inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming up. And we will change the side. Inhale. Exhale, bend in your front leg. Look at your left hand. And stay. Long inhale. And exhale. Make sure that your front knee is not moving in. Stay three, two, and one. Very slowly come up. Bring your hands to the ground. Step to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now look in front and we will come to seated pose. Just step and sit. So I'm avoiding all the hoops because this is a class for the beginners. We want to go slowly, we do not want to injure ourselves. Plus, we are working enough to bring this 
heat inside our body to feel our muscles and we are trying to keep our breath smooth and long yes so first pose you can have blocks next to you you can sit on a blanket if you feel that your back is round so you will sit first in dandasan for five counts inhale hands up you can keep your palms looking at each other lifting your lower abdomen up inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale exhale and now we will move to Paschimottanasana forward bend you can have your belt bend if you cannot reach your toes inhale up exhale going down hold with the hooks of your fingers and hold your big toes if this is difficult for you you are having your belt there and keeping your spine straight moving your chest chest more and more and more down yeah without pulsing so if you hold your toes inhale lift your chest up exhale moving your elbows to the side going forward bend relax your head neck so you are trying moving your to big toes towards yourself at the same time creating resistance trying to push your toe away from your chest pressing your thighs your calves towards the ground long inhale and long exhale stay five four three two one inhale look in front and now you will hold your feet and you will do the same inhale opening your chest so if you're using belt continue using your belt and we are going forward bend and stay long inhale and long exhale keeping your shoulders away from your ears Inhale, look in front and slowly come all the way up. Very good. And we will come to Parvatanasan. So this is a counter pose, counter pose for Paschimottanasan. You will bring your hands behind, fingers looking at your hips, feet together. And you will with inhale, lift your hips up, trying to reach with your big toes the ground. If this is difficult for you, Bend your legs, feet hip distance, and you will come for reverse table. So you have always a choice. Come into the pose, whatever you choose. Look up, arch into your chest, and stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Very slowly. Coming all the way down and releasing your hands. And next one, we will do Adha Bhatha Padma Paschimottanasana. And the same what we did, standing pose. Again, you can have a belt hanging. You will bend your right leg. Bring your foot as high as possible. And bring your foot above your thigh. Your knee should be on the ground. Slightly push to the ground. And now, inhale, you will bring your hands up. Exhale, you will go forward bend. 
So if this is not happening, use belt. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, forward bend. And stay long inhale. And long exhale. So if you cannot bring your leg high, bring above your knee. Yeah. And stay three. Two. And one. Inhale, look in front. And coming slowly back. And release. So if we look at Ashtanga series, after each pose, we should do vinyasa. But because this is a beginner class, we are going easier. We are working through the poses. And we did enough of vinyasas. Other leg up or above your knee, your choice. Try to bring your knee to the ground. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones. Elevate your hips if it's needed. You can put a pillow or folded blanket under your hips. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward bend. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look up. And come all the way up. And release everything down. Very good. And now, another pose. Again, it's a kind of advanced postures. It's easier for women, not for everyone. You will bend with one leg. And you make sure that you are sitting, not on your heel. Your heel right next to your hips. If you feel you are sitting this way, it's difficult for you. Elevate. Don't hesitate to take a blanket and sit on your blanket or on the pillow. Another point here. If you're sitting in the pose and you feel that you are this way, put blanket under your one buttock. Only one to elevate and bring your hips level. Yeah, it's called Triang Mukha Ekapada. Inhale, hands up. You can use your belt. Exhale, going forward. Then different stretch and stay long. Inhale and long exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Look up and inhale, coming all the way up and release your hands down. Release your leg and we will change, bringing bending other leg. Try to keep your knees together. Yeah, it's important because when we open, little different muscles start all working. But if it's difficult, you can slightly move your knee away. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward bend. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Long inhale. And long exhale. Look up and inhale, come all the way up and release your hands down and extend 
usually. It feels good. It's something different. It's tiny muscles which you never use start to work. And next one, Janu Shashasan. It's one of my favorite poses and many of my students love that pose. You'll bend your right leg. Lift your chest up. Drop your knee to the side. So if your knee is over here, put folded blanket or block or a pillow yeah, that your knee is relaxed over there. You are not putting your foot under your thigh, it's just touching your inner thigh. Slightly twist your body that your navel is looking exactly at your knee. It's important that you have this beautiful alignment. And the leg which is straightened is activated. Your calves, your heel and your thighs are pressing the ground and your toes looking up. You can have a belt here to go for forward bend or using your body, inhale hands up. Exhale, going forward, bend. Relax your head. So we are going soft in this pose. If you are going into real Ashtanga, you will try to push your chest in front, lengthening uh, your spine so much, you're looking at, at your big toe and you're pushing, 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 trying to reach with your forehead somewhere, your shin. Uh, if you look at Hatha Yoga Pradipika, uh, the natural curve of your spine should be there. Yeah, you shouldn't flatten because you can injure your spine. So even if your head is just above your knee, it's actually the post call head to knee, yeah, not to the shin, but to the knee, and you feel the beautiful stretch on your back, relax, feeling on your neck, and you are keeping your muscles engaged, lengthening, and working out, yeah, so I am not asking you to push yourself in front, stay wherever you are, Breathe, long inhale, long exhale, and get experience. Inhale, lift your chest up, slowly coming up, and release your hands down. Extend your leg, bend your left leg, hug it, and lift your chest up. Bring in your foot, your knee to the side, turning slightly your body. Inhale, hands up, exhale, forward bend. So one side is always more flexible than other. And stay long, inhale, and long, exhale. Long, inhale. And long exhale. Inhale, look up and come all the way up. And release your hands down. So before we move into Shavasan, we will do Marichasan. It's a twist, combination and forward bend. We will bend right leg. Bring your foot one hand distance from, from your thigh. Inhale, right hand comes up, you will lean in front, go around your knee and left hand from your back and you will clasp your hands, yeah? So this is, look this way. And from here, you will go forward bend, yes? Go as much as you can. If you cannot hold yourself, all your hands hold the bell behind. Yeah. So going into the pose, inhale, open your chest, exhale, forward bend. And stay five. 
फोर थ्री टू एंड वन लुक इन फ्रंट एंड कम अप रिलीज एंड चेंज left hand comes up make sure that you have distance between your foot and thigh leaning in front clasping your hands your right leg is active exhale you are coming forward bend and stay five four three One. Look in front and slowly come up and release. So that was Marichasan A. A. Next one is Marichasan. We will do C first. You will do twist again the same way. You will clasp your hands. And you will twist. If you don't have, if you cannot hold your hands, use the belt and open twist and stay. Five, four, three, two. One and come back to the center. So I'm showing you open twist today. But if you do in uh, other way, you will do clasping your hands in a different way. You will bring your head, leg in and you will bring your hand through the hole and clasp your hands behind. Yeah, let's do this one too. So your right foot outside of your left knee left hand comes up and going into this hole which you created like a triangle other hand behind your back you're clasping and looking opposite direction yeah this is a really intense twist so if you are on your periods if you have any abdominal surgeries if you are pregnant you are not doing it if you have any hernia you are not doing it if you have a uti you are not doing it and slowly release and we will do open twist from the other side left leg bind your hands and stay five four three two one slowly come back left foot outside of your right knee right hand comes up moving through inside hole of your leg you see one leg is happening another leg not always and you are clasping your hands and you are staying in the pose stay five four three Two, one, come back, release your hands and extend your legs. And next one, Marichasan B. So you will bring your right leg above your left foot, uh, left thigh, sorry. Yeah, high as possible. You will lean in front. So you turn to your knee, lift slightly in front, hold your toes from behind, and you will go forward bend. So this is, can be difficult, 
Then you just bring it this way and you just go and again Ardha Baddha Paschimadanasana. If you can hold your foot, just go this way down. And stay five, four, three, two, one. Look up and slowly release. And we will change side. Bring your leg high above your thigh. I know this one is intense. So slightly turn to your bent knee. Bend in front to get the hold of your foot and after turn to the center. And exhale going forward. Bend. And stay five, four, three, two, and one. Look up and slowly release. And last one. We will do the same as we did now, but with a twist. So you bend your right leg, turn to your bent knee, hold your foot, left hand above your knee, and you just twist. Your left leg is straight, and you stay five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back, release to the ground, and we change the side. Your right leg now straight. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twist. And stay five, four, three, two, one. And slowly come back and release. So for all those twists, you can do normal twists, not to overwhelm your body. And we will slowly come down to the ground for Suptavakrasan and after for Shavasana. So you will lie down comfortably first. Oh, feels good. Bend your legs. Mud distance, hands, shoulder, level to the sides. With exhale, drop your knees to the right. Look to the left. Long inhale. And long exhale. Bring back to center and change the side. Look to the left, or sorry, to the right. Your knees to the left. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Come back to center. Release your legs down. Line four, Shavasana. Palms looking up. Close your eyes. Relax your toes. My toes are relaxed. Relax your feet, your ankles. My feet and my ankles are relaxed. Relax your calves. My calves are Relaxed. Relax your knees, your thighs, my knees and 
my eyes are relaxed. Relax your hips. My hips are relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. Relax your chest. My chest is relaxed. your shoulders, your arms, your hands. My shoulders, my arms and my hands are relaxed. Relax your facial muscles. My facial muscles are my body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the crown of my head. With every exhalation, release any tension from the physical body. With every exhalation, Release any tension, any worries from your mind. If you want to stay longer in Shavasana, you are welcome. If you are ready to come on, start to move your toes, your fingers. Join your feet together. Bring hands above your head and give a good stretch to your body. Bend your legs and turn to the right side. With support of your hands, slowly come to comfortable sitting posture. It can be Sukhasana, Padmasana, Vajrasana. Keep your spine and action parallel to the floor. Join your hands in Namaste in front of your heart. Bring your hands to your forehead, reminding us to clear and loving intentions. Hands to the heart. Reminding us to have clear and loving, again, intentions. And hands to the mouth. Reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a beautiful day. Happy Easter again. Love and light to you and your family. Stay positive, stay healthy, stay happy. And just enjoy every minute of your life.